detailed instructions for the Times Square Watch Kit are available on the Adafruit Learning System, where you'll find all of the tools necessary to complete this project, as well as a step-by-step -step guide for where to place each component. When it comes time to install the LED matrix, it's important to get it in the right way the first time, because it's hard to desolder it if you put it in wrong. See where it says matrix text on this side and has a little arrow? That side of the board should line up with the text on the side of the matrix. Carefully solder the matrix in place and then install the watch's battery. You can then set the date and time on your watch by holding down both buttons until this menu comes up. The year is first and you press the right button to change the number and the left button to move to the next number. So the date is stored in the format of year, month, day, hour, minute, and then also gives you an option of displaying the time in 12 hour mode or 24 hour mode. Hold down both buttons again to exit the time set menu. To assemble the watch, insert the acrylic plate inside the band. This will insulate the circuit board from your wrist. Next, you can install the watch assembly inside the band. The small nubs on the circuit board should nestle into the grooves in the watch band, and it can help to tug on each end of it just to get everything settled properly. To switch between watch modes, tap and then hold one of the side buttons. The second mode is the battery indicator, which lets you know how much battery life you have left. The third mode shows you the current phase of the moon. And the fourth mode is a binary watch. The Times Square Watch Kit is Arduino compatible and open source, so you can design your own watch modes and upload them to your Times Square. And if you do, be sure to share them with us in our weekly show and tell on Google+. And don't forget to give us a like, a share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Happy timekeeping!